welcome. Um, for our opening prayer, please join us. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, the Master Teacher, we praise thy name, dear Lord, for you have shown us your unfailing love. You have opened doors for online learning and Adventist education, and you have provided us with, with means to meet our needs. Truly, your goodness is great. We praise your name, dear Lord. Father in heaven, we ask for sorry if we have offended and hurt others. And sometimes if we have doubted your faithfulness and promises. We thank you for protection and care. We thank you for the comfort of our homes and for the kindness of the people around us. Indeed, we have so much to be thankful for you. Dear Lord, as we start this semester, may you be with us, and may you help us to trust you fully. Help us also, dear Lord, to bring all our cares unto you, and help us to depend on you despite these difficulties we are facing every day. Help us, dear Lord, to depend on you in all things that we need. Thank you, Lord, for loving us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good afternoon again, everyone. Your teachers um, from the School of Arts, Sciences, and Education will be presenting a lot this afternoon. And uh, by the way, the one who gave the opening prayer uh, was... Mrs. Dama Sinhil Solis, um, the program coordinator of the BS Ed English. And next part will be a song from one also one of our teachers from the SASED. We will now listen to um, Sir Glenn Severi. Sir Glenn, you can now come over. Reminisce a year of new 
And in the smiles we share But above all else I hope you will come To know the Father's love When you see the Lord Face to face You'll hear His hand Well done When you love Jesus more When you go on a separate ways When this moment is a memory You will remember His face Will you look back and realize You sense His love more than you did before I pray for nothingness Than for you to love Jesus more Will you love Jesus more when we go on a separate ways When this moment is a memory You will remember His face When you look there then realize You sense His love more than you did before I pray for nothingness Than for you to love Jesus more I pray for nothingness Than for you to love Jesus A wonderful day to our online viewers. I'd like to greet everyone who are watching us, our parents, students, faculty members, and friends. It's really a wonderful time to have this afternoon with you. I'd like to thank our parents, students, benefactors for patronizing Adventist education. And perhaps you may ask, why Adventist education? when there are other educational institutions around. But we thank you for choosing Central Philippine Adventist College. Now, here are some good reasons why we should choose Adventist education. According to George Knight, a renowned Adventist educator, He said that at the top of the list of reasons for Adventist schooling is that Adventist education introduces students to the Bible as a framework for thinking and evaluating. So when you say framework, this is a basic structure on which something is being based on. So it goes to say that Adventist education is anchored on biblical truths. And this is one thing that makes Adventist education different from, uh, from others, especially from secular education. Paul wrote 
the young Timothy, in 2 Timothy 3.15, he said, And how from infancy you have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation. So if education is really based on the Bible, this can lead us to salvation. Now, the Bible serves as an intellect strengthener. According to the servant Ellen White, there is nothing more calculated to energize the mind and strengthen the intellect than the study of the Word of God. No other book is so potent to elevate the thoughts as the broad, ennobling truths of the Bible. This is one thing that makes the Bible very important in education. Now, the Holy Scriptures are the perfect standard of truth and as such should be given the highest place in education, according to Ellen White. Number two. Adventist education introduces young people to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Education should bring us to the source of wisdom. And that source of wisdom is Jesus Christ. According to Colossians chapter 2, verses 2 and 3, that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Number three reason why we should patronize Adventist education is the aim of Adventist education is to restore in the students the lost image of their maker. When man fell into sin, the imprint of the character of God in man was defaced and almost obliterated had Jesus not come to rescue us from the pit of sin. And so, education now is a vehicle in restoring in the students the lost image of their maker. And for this reason, Adventist education is geared toward renewing, renewing the mind and developing the character of the students so that he could reflect the character of his maker. And teachers are given that grave responsibility of modeling the life of Jesus Christ so that they can also give a good influence to their learners. Number four, Adventist education advocates a balanced development of the physical, social, mental, and spiritual qualities of the student. So it's a, it's a balanced type of, of education, the physical, the social, the mental, and spiritual faculty of a man. And with this COVID um, problem we're in, this is really a challenge for us as teachers and as an institution, Central Philippine Adventist College. On hand, we can, we can develop in a balanced manner these four aspects, physical, social, mental, and spiritual. Take note that in Luke chapter 2, verse 40 and then 52, the child Jesus grew and became strong, referring to the physical aspect of Jesus. He was filled with wisdom, 
that refers to mental or intellectual. And the grace of God was upon him. And in favor, he was in favor with God and man. In favor with God would mean the spiritual dimension and, so, and man, the social. So you see here, education should have this four balanced. And so, we bank on this definition of true education as an Adventist institution. True education is the harmonious development of the physical, the mental, and the spiritual powers. It prepares the student for the joy of service in this world and for the higher joy of wider service in the world to come. So we don't educate students just for this world, but in the world to come. We prepare students for heaven. And this makes Christian education unique. Now, notice this philosophy, CPH's philosophy of Adventist education. God is the creator and source of all knowledge, revealed in the Bible, and conveyed in full through His Son, Jesus Christ, whose plan of salvation is the aim of true education. So we are anchored in the Bible, and we bring our students to Jesus Christ, and for the purpose that our students will be saved for heaven. And this is the aim of true education. And the mission of CPAC is to train students to be globally competent, service-oriented, and winsome ambassadors of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is why the Seventh-day Adventist, as a denomination, is, is giving importance on education. In fact, throughout the world, we have... 8,515 educational institutions. Break, the breakdown of this is as follows. Tertiary institutions, you have 115. Working training institutions, 50. Secondary schools, 2,435. And primary schools of 5,915. 5 According to God's servant, in the highest sense, the work of education and the work of redemption are one. So in education, we labor to save souls for Christ. And so the admonition in 2 Peter 3.18 is, Grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This should be our aim in life. Students and teachers of Central Philippine Adventist College. God bless everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the first part of our orientation this afternoon. And that was the message from our Dean, Dr. Arnel F. Arsenal. Now let's go to the second part of our orientation. And so let us sing first our Philippine National Anthem, which will be led by one of our staff from SASED, um, Ms. Sarah Antad.
wala at awit sa pangay minamahal Ang kislap ng watnaw at mo'y tagumpay na natinigay Ang bituin at araw niya kailan pa may di magdidilim Lupa ng Again good, after, again, good afternoon, everyone. Now, we are going to present to you, or we are going to introduce to you, the personnel of the School of Arts, Sciences, and Education. And so, this afternoon, we will be introducing each of them, and you will be seeing them uh, this afternoon. So, let's now start uh, introducing each of them. May I request now our technical people to just show the slides for the introduction of our uh, personnel. We have here Dr. Arnold F. Arsenal, our school, our school dean and program coordinator of the BS Ed Math and MAED programs. And so we, we, I am now introducing the personnel of the Department of Education. Let's start with Mrs. Alan Amarilla. Um, the program coordinator of the BS Ed Filipino. And we have a new teacher, a new faculty in the name of Milmar Mendoza, uh, a faculty of the BS Ed Filipino program. And the coordinator of the Bachelor of Science or the BS Ed Biology and also BS Bio, a BS Biology program, we have Mrs. Shirley A. Bangoy. Then we have Mrs. Laren D. Bernardino, the program coordinator of the BE Ed, or those of you who are taking Bachelor of Education in Elementary, uh, of the element, Elementary Education. So you can, uh, you can message. Uh, Mrs. Laren Bernardino. And an upgrade for this time, we have Mr. Leben Bernardino. And we have Mrs. Melody May K. Inapan, faculty of the BS Ed English um, program. And the program coordinator of the English program or the BS Ed English, we have uh, Mrs. Damasin Hill S. Solis. And then let's go to a faculty under the math department, the BS Ed Math, we have Ms. Grace G. Intima. And ladies and gentlemen, the program coordinator of the Music, Arts, and PE and Health, um, and the BPA for this time, we have Ms. Sarah P. Antad. And the next one, we have a faculty under the BS Ed MAPE. Um, we have uh, Mrs. Jonah G. Toledo. And then let's go to the next. We have Emily Joy A. Maglana, an upgrade for this time and under the still the education department. Next, we have Ma'am Ruby T. Campos, a faculty of the BS Ed. English um, program. She's teaching English subjects and also some of the professional ed subjects. The next one, we have the faculty of the Bachelor of, uh, was that physical education? We have Mr. Glenn A. Severi. And ladies and gentlemen, we have another faculty in the name of Mr. Ismael G. Chua, uh, teaching under math department. And for the BPE department, uh, we have a faculty in the name of Justin Ivan Pagil. And the next, let's go to the sciences department. We have the following personnel. And so, ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you the program coordinator of the BS Biology uh, program. We have Shirley A. Bangoy. And other 
Another on study leave, we have Aldrin Iker de Banjola, teaching biology subjects. And we have also a faculty under the biology department and also teaching general sciences subjects. We have Giselle or Miss Giselle and Depilio. Let's go to the next one. Our teacher of the chemistry um, subjects, we have Mrs. Ethel B. Golfan. And let's go to the music because uh, SASED or uh, the was that School of Arts, Sciences, and Education Arts, uh, the Arts Department. So let's go to music. So ladies and gentlemen, here are the personnel under the music department. We have the OIC of the programs, um, Bachelor of Music, and also the Bachelor of Music in Music Education. We have um, Ms. Ruella V. Barrera. And we have another... Uh, seasoned faculty, we have Dr. Heidi S. Serna, and we are very proud that Dr. Serna is still with us and teaching still in the music department. And an upgrade, and we hope he can be with us soon. And we have here uh, Sir Wiener Silvestri. And another faculty under the music department, we have Rene or Mr. Rene Clint Vidal. And for the general education, we have also uh, the following personnel. We have Mr. Prospero G. Gonzaga, a faculty and teaching um, social sciences subjects. And we have another faculty here. Uh, teaching under the general sciences, um, under I mean teaching general sciences subjects, we have um, Dr. Arturo V. Sarosa, and another one we have Mrs. Annabella V. Lazo, teaching social sciences subjects. And so, ladies and gentlemen, those are your teachers under the School of Arts, Sciences, and. Uh, sciences, arts, and education. And so we are happy that we have introduced them to you. And so uh, you can probably message them if you have some inquiries. And you can, I think they are still on Facebook. And also uh, later on, they will be giving you or they will be giving also our students or yeah, their, their contact numbers for, for, for the individual classes. And so let's go to the next part this afternoon. Uh, may I call on uh, Mrs. Shirley Bangoy, who will be reading to you the program outcomes of uh, the School of Arts, Sciences, and Education. Uh, she will be telling you what are expected of you as students, or when you graduate, or just before you graduate, uh, you, you know what are expected of you. So let's now come to... Uh, the reading of the program outcomes. Good afternoon, students. I am going to read to you the program outcomes for SASED. These are the things that are expected of you when you graduate under the banner of SASED. Okay. First is, you must be able to articulate and discuss the latest developments in the specific field of practice. You are expected to effectively communicate in English and Filipino, both orally and in writing. You are also expected to work effectively and collaboratively with a substantial degree of independence in multidisciplinary, in multicultural teams. You are to act in recognition of professional, social, and ethical responsibility. You are also expected to preserve and promote Filipino historical and cultural heritage. You are to exemplify Bible-based values in the fields of arts, education, and sciences. And now I am going to present to you the grading system. In your transcript of records, the numerical grades would not appear, but rather what will appear are the letter grades. So here are the equivalents. 
for you to be able to get an A, your numerical grade should be 98 to 100. For A minus, the equivalents are 97, 95 to 97. For B plus, 92 to 94. For B, 91, 89 to 91. For B minus, 86 to 88. C plus, 83 to 85. C, 80 to 82. C minus, 79, 77 to 79. In D, 74 to 76. F below 74. Um, in, in our programs, in all programs under SASED, we require you to have at least 85, uh, 83, the New York grade of 83 to be able to pass the subject that is equivalent to C+. Plus. Okay, students, I'm sure you have, uh, you have listened or you have, uh, I mean, we have shown you the program outcomes and what are expected of you. Uh, and we expect our students to be really excellent out of those program outcomes that we have set up for the School of Arts, Sciences, and Education. And we are about to end our orientation this afternoon. And um, we would like to thank you for um, being with us this afternoon. And uh, if ever you have some inquiries, you can also go to the website of Central Philippine Adventist College. And there are some contact numbers in there. And also, you can also message uh, our, the, the personnel that we have presented to you this afternoon. So thank you very much for being with us this afternoon. And we would be very glad to see you in our classes. We are waiting for you and we are excited uh, to have you in our classes. Uh, just go, uh, I mean, if you have some challenges, you can probably um, uh, contact us in the iLearn, that's our uh, learning management system, and there are some contacts there. There are some ways on how to, how to uh, contact any of the personnel. There are some technicians that are waiting for you or waiting to assist you there. And so before we end up, I'd like to call Mrs. Um, Laren Bernardino to have our closing prayer before we end up our program this afternoon. So, Mom Laren, can you now come? And again, everyone, thank you very much. And see you in our classes, even if you don't have face-to-face -face classes. Just, we would like to see you uh, in, our, in our classes. May I invite you all to please pray with me for our closing prayer. Let's bow our heads. Loving Heavenly Father, we come before you to thank you for the success of our orientation today. We also thank you for blessing our parents, our students, our CPAC faculty and staff, and all of us, Lord, for keeping us all safe from this pandemic. We plead that you will uh, continually bless us, especially in these uh, challenges that we are facing in this uh, new age. Thank you for the courage. Thank you for the skill. Thank you for your love and for your protection. Thank you for dismissing us with your blessings, guidance, and love. In Jesus' name, amen.